Hello Commanders! Welcome to the Command Table. My name is Matt, and I've got some updates for you from yesterday's video. I made some modifications to the various builds that I was using. So I figured I'd share that with you, hopefully give you an easier time with your raids. If you like what you see here, please do like and subscribe. Also, if you want notifications when I drop new videos, be sure to hit that notification bell. If you have any questions or comments or if you have a cool build that you've discovered feel free to comment below. So uh, we'll start with the big boy SR15 and this is going to run through the power stones. Now you'll notice I've got the double execute on the tree and the reason that I put it on the tree instead of the phoenix is because while the phoenix does have the capacity to hit more units the tree has a faster attack speed so it's going to tick more often, which means the moment the units within its grasp hit 30% health, they're going to die. So 15 units, I believe, is what the tree can hold on to at any given time. So while the phoenix might be able to hit more units in one shot, there's a much longer cooldown in terms of its attack speed. So that's why I put the double execute on the tree. We've got Empower Plagued and Berserk still, and then we've got... Uh, damage 3 and slow, you don't need the slow, and then damage 4 and empower plagued on the phoenix. And then the drummer has enhance 2 times 2 and protection 4, and the risen warriors have damage 3 and protection 3. And they're mostly just there to distract the arcane archers in the back. So the thing that I wanted to show here, and this, this was mentioned by somebody in the TCT discord to use the tree but I can't find the comment for who said it, so props to whoever mentioned that to me. But uh, you'll see everything's kind of uh, swarming around there, but the toe and the high health on everything just makes it to where it almost doesn't even matter. But look how the, almost the instant anything hits that 30% health, it dies and it's gone. Very, very helpful for clearing, and as you'll see, uh, now that we've cleared to the boss, uh, my previous best was 11 million 300 and something thousand, and we're very much going to outdo that this time around. So the tree is very effective for clearing out extra units that are there, and it's also good at holding things away, except for kind of that initial push, but you'll notice everything still has ample health. No elixirs and new best. We got an extra 2 million or so. So very, very solid. I really like having the tree in there. Highly recommend it. Now this is SR14, and you'll notice, okay, we'll run through the power stones. There's Empower Plagued and Berserk. On, it's all the same, basically. Damage 3 on the Plague Bearers. Uh, we put Damage 4 on the tree because I've only got the two power stone slots, so having 15% uh, kill threshold is just not really worth it. I'd just rather have the extra damage if I don't have the two red power stone slots. But everything else is basically all the same. But uh, you will notice that I am using the regen elixir, and that's just because my eternal champions are a fair bit lower on level, and my toe is only rank 3 on this profile. So the regen just stabilizes everything. But uh, the phoenix and the tree combined are just absolutely fantastic for shredding all these units you just look at them disappear it's amazing and we're just about clear we got a couple earth elementals to deal with and here we go so previous best was 12 million we'll see if we end up outdoing that I, I think I may have run this build uh, previously and then ran it showing the power stone so it's probably gonna be about the same Oh, well, I might actually outdo it. But yeah, I just really, really like it. New best. Fantastic. So, uh, clearly more optimal than using the entangling roots and an extra set of plague bearers, and it just seems to work much, much better. Okay, now props to Krim for kind of the inspiration behind this one. It is a little bit different than what he did. Uh, we'll just let it go ahead and run through the power stones. Level 41 Eternal Champions with Berserk, a couple of bombs with no power stones, uh, Tower with double Execute 2, and then we've got Protection on our Fortifications, 
Our druid just has reach and protection 3, and we've got damage 4 on our phoenix. The assassins both have damage 3, and I think that covers everything. So um, we are using the regen elixir with this, it's just my level 41 or 42 eternal champions kinda need it. And there we go. Now, Krim used fortifications on the top and the bottom instead of the bomb bots, but I figured, you know, if you're just gonna have everything stand there beaten up on a wall, you might as well just blow it up instead. Uh, so I put the bombs there and it seems to work really, really well. But uh, this is on SR10, and my artifacts are uh, still fairly low. You'll notice that the druid's in a little bit of trouble there. We've got a little earth elemental popping in. But that regen does fantastic. The lower the health the eternal champions get, the less damage they take, and that regen keeps up with basically all of it. So now, it's just a matter of clearing up that last little bit of garbage, and goodbye, Jormag. So, not the most amount of damage I've done, because the previous builds to this were swarms, but uh, very excellent alternative if you don't want to keep using all of your immunity elixirs. So, um, just use a regen instead, and those units, and you should be good to save your immunities for the next boss that needs swarm. Okay, so props to Krim for that. I'll put a link to his video in the description if anybody wants to see that. Okay, and then SR5, I have mostly, I haven't really adapted this too much, but uh, what I did do, I think I dropped the Risen Warriors that I had here, and now I've got the Assassins on the top and bottom, and I've made a couple of uh, shard requests in my clan to get some more bomb bots. So we'll just uh, let this one run through, and he's already at 38% health. The uh, health required to get a kill is about 350,000 at SR5. So way better, you see that new best. I'm up, uh, I think like 60K from my last attempt. So maybe another couple shard requests and I'd be able to one-shot this. So the bomb train is still viable at lower levels and I know Saeed in uh, Boo, he's been able to do it on SR13 in his alternate profile with the bomb train. So bomb train isn't dead, it's uh, still a possibility. But anyway, I have a very in-depth video on how to fine-tune your bomb train if you want to look that up. Uh, but yeah, so thank you for watching. Hopefully that uh, helps you improve upon yesterday. Again, please do like and subscribe, and check out the commandtable.com. We'll be adding some more fun stuff there as time goes on. Thanks for watching. We'll have more for you soon.